Hey friends, hope everyone is well. Today I will show you how to set up a smart circuit breaker or digital adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. I bought this breaker from the online marketplace ishvin.com for about $8. Let's take it out of the box. It comes with a practical manual and warranty card. Now I will describe useful tips for using it in a row. The digital adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker is quite nice to look at. This adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker has four indicators and four buttons to control everything. The diagram required for setup is given on one side of the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. Now I will show you how to set up this adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. The terminal printed with N is neutral or many call it negative or common. I connected the neutral to this terminal. I connected the phase or positive to the other pole or terminal. Now the power supply is provided to the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. We can see a great display on the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. Here the current ampere is 0 and the current is 233 volts. When the power button of the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker is pressed, it goes into off mode and in this state the electricity voltage is shown but the electricity supply is stopped. When pressed again, it comes into on mode and supplies electricity. To set up all the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker, the set button has to be pressed and held for 3 seconds. In the first step, the adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker comes into ampere set mode. This breaker can maintain from 1 to 63 amperes. Now I will adjust the load using empire up down button near to what I need. Here I set 10 amperes as per my requirement and press the set button once to fix it. Now in the second step, the overcurrent waiting time mode will show, which can be delayed from 2 to 600 seconds. If the overcurrent load is loaded, the breaker will stop the power supply and when it is released from the overload, the breaker will start supplying power again. I set it for 2 seconds. Again press the set button once and go to the third step and we will get the high voltage setting mode. Here, we have to set up according to the maximum voltage that the practical equipment can supply without causing any damage. I set the maximum voltage of 245 volts for the electrical equipment used in my area. Again, if we press the set button once and go to the fourth step, we will get the low voltage adjustment mode. I set the minimum voltage of 180 volts for the electrical equipment used in my area. Again, if we press the set button once and go to the fifth step, we will get the low voltage waiting time adjustment mode. Here, if the voltage goes below the low mode or it will trip and stop the power supply. I adjusted this mode to 2 seconds. If we press the set button again and go to the 6th step, we will get the higher low voltage delay time adjustment mode. This mode basically adjusts how long after the voltage is high or low the power supply is cut off and then the voltage returns to normal. I set the time from 2 to 300 seconds adjust time to 5 seconds here. If we press the set button again and go to the 7th step, we will get the error recovery delay time adjustment mode. Error recovery delay time refers to the amount of time a system waits before attempting to recover from an error. Essentially a pause or delay implemented to allow for potential issues to resolve themselves or to prevent overwhelming retry attempts in case of temporary glitches. It's a key parameter in error handling mechanisms, often used in conjunction with retry strategies in software applications. I 
adjusted it for 30 seconds here. Then press the set button and we save all the setup. This is how to set up a smart circuit breaker or digital adjustable voltage protector circuit breaker. I now took a hot gun to test the breaker's functionality. When I turned on the hot gun, its maximum ampere shows 7.4. I set the breaker to 6 amperes to check its functionality and left all other settings unchanged. Now I turned on the hot gun. When it went over 6 amperes, the ampere was blinking and the electricity supply was completely cut off. Now to reactivate the breaker. Press the power button once to turn it off and press it again to turn it on. How the video is and how to make it better, you can write your opinion in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to press like button and share to your friends. Stay tuned by subscribing to my channel and presses the bell button to get the next video.